Okay, so to proof my yeast, I'm gonna add two cups of water, warm water, like I said, and also I'll add the sugar. And then we're gonna mix. And I will leave it for about five minutes. And once it gets nice and foamy, you know that your yeast is good to go. But first you wanna like mix everything out. And then you leave that to proof. And you can. This is what the yeast looks like after it's proof. So with that said, I'm gonna pour it into my, my pan so the yeast is in. I'm also gonna put the salt and I'm gonna put the cooking oil. And this is, I'm using canola oil. And then I'll just give it a quick stir with the flour. You don't want to add it all at once. You're going to gradually put in maybe about a cup of flour at a time. And then mix. So a cup of flour at a time and then mix it. so far I'm gonna put it um, on the counter and I'm gonna knead it for a little bit more maybe around five minutes and just to get all the flour incorporated and then I'll put it to rise after so first you wanna flour your surface mind you it's already clean I did that hands are clean also so I'll do that and then I'll put it out And then you want to go in and fold. And you continue to fold it until all your flour. So I'm going to finish doing this and I'll see you guys when I'm about to proof it.
okay so this is what my dough looks like at this point so what you want to do now is get a little bit of cooking oil grease whatever you have put it in your bowl make sure it's nicely coated with the cooking oil olive oil if you have one of those um, spray cans those ones you can also use it spray it in the container make sure it's all over on the sides and this is to prevent the dough from sticking okay and at this point now I'm gonna put it in for I'm gonna proof it for about an hour and it should double in size at this time so this is what I'm gonna do now it's gonna sit for an hour and it should double in size and then we get it all um, shape to go in the oven. Okay guys, so this is what the proof dough looks like. Here it is, twice its size right now. So what I'm about to do Gotta cut it in, take it out. I need to flour my surface again. I wanna help you. Do it, mommy, do it. My hands are clean, the surface is nice and clean. So now, there it is. Before I do that, I'm gonna cut it before, cause making two loaves so here I go for me one is always bigger than one but doesn't matter at this point so now we're just gonna roll it out like so you cut it you have to pinch it so that it doesn't go out of shape so I'm gonna make it we're using this regular loaf pan so it's gonna about this much fold it pinch the edge So that it doesn't bake out of shape like that guys it, it's nothing to it it's simple and so one down I'll put it in the pan now so this one will go in the pan like so next one just pull up the ear a little bit
so. And there goes my bread. I'll let them rest again for about 15 minutes. Daddy. This is what they look like. So about 15 minutes, I'll cover them again and let them rise once more and then I'll just put them in the oven and I'll put them in for half an hour at 350 degree and make sure the oven is always preheated before you put your stuff in. So 350 degrees, half an hour and I'll show you what they looks like after. Mm. Okay guys, so this is the finishing product of my two loaves, my bread of course. So what I'm going to do is just put some butter on the top so that it stays nice and soft. And here we go. Usually I let it cool down for a little bit, but of course the girls, they are excited and they want to try it. So what I'm going to do after this put some butter I'm gonna let them be the judge especially Amelia Amelia loves when I make when I make bread she's a bread girl so I'll, I'll cut one just for her to taste it and let you Brit Squad family know how it tastes. So let me get my knife. Where is my bread knife? Where is my bread knife? Anyways. Nothing like a nice slice of Warm bread with butter. Butter. There you go. <laughs> so we're gonna butter it, and you can see nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. <laughs> Light. Thank you. So I'm gonna cover it. Give them both, and then they're gonna taste it. And wait, Miss Maddie, she's so excited, she can't even wait. Taste it and then let you guys know here. Okay. Let the Brit Squad family know how it tastes. Mm. How it tastes, Madison? It, it, it tastes amazing. It tastes amazing? Mm -hmm. How it tastes, Mia? Okay. It tastes good? Yep. And there you have it, guys my toast bread like i said it's easy to make and we basically have these recipes in our kitchen anyways yeah so don't forget guys like subscribe share and comment I love that thank you for watching say bye guys bye, bye.